in the final two of these plays of pressing and drawing out an attack, if I get pressed, I can figure I know what he's doing. He's trying to get me to attack him. So what I can do here is make a show of a thrust to the face, and we get that false edge. Harry, but I'm really trying to strike the leg. So be on the lookout for that. You press your opponent. When you see a thrust coming at you, what do you do? You use your false edge. Now, when that changes to a leg cut, put your sword's false edge um, underneath of that. He says, jam your false edge underneath that mandrito. Guard your head with your dagger. Step your right foot to your right, throw your mandrito to the leg. Dagger here, take three steps back into your guard. So, you've pressed, tried to parry uh, that, stop that, step over here, strike, pass back here. You've seen the false edge parry before. When you see a thrust coming at you, it's the quickest, quickest thing you can do. Now, um, remember they're baiting you into moving this. As soon as you do this, they'll pick that point, uh, pick that point up. See? You don't get anything on that sword. As soon as you try to parry it, it's gone and tries to hit you. But you see how I have to put that in there. Notice my turn. See the body? Here, here. Turn. Now this, guarding your head, is lifted and cut to the leg. Now he says the head also. But notice how many of these plays involve cutting the leg. It's because they have a dagger up here. So it's probably going to be the leg, but on the chance that, see he's getting, he knows, he knows it's going to be to the leg as well, right? So when he goes to cover his leg, I can go for the head, of course. So bear that in mind. It could be head or leg. Remember, get out as soon as you can, three steps back into your guard. You press, you try that, like before. Mm, didn't work. That. See the, turn your hips. Don't just, don't just do that. Turn into it. Now make the mandrito. So after you've, after you've done this, you're not going to just go up like that and cut. No. After you've done this, you're going to lift that and strike a big cut. If I get pressed and I want to attack, knowing that he's likely to do something, another way to do this attack, if I'm going to first thrust and then throw something, is to go in with my lead foot. So with my left foot forward, I thrust to the face so that I can pass my right foot. This is shown frequently as well. You're waiting, you're pressed, provoked by going this way, you see, with the lead foot. Here, step, strike, guarding your head. So when I'm pressing, so this first action of mine, the thrust I'm, uh, when I receive that, so this is a false edge parry with the dagger. Note that I'm keeping my elbow close to me. So if this is coming in, it's a provocation, but I'm not raising this. I keep my elbow close to me this way. Now, the uh, leg attack comes. This is a false edge parry, so I'm palm down. My point is near the uh, foot of my opponent. I've turned my hips. I'm guarding my head with my dagger. Now, I'm stepping with my back foot to my right. When I'm going to be doing that, he's seeing a cut coming. I can take that moment to see where he's guarding. When I go here, oh, he's open down here. You see, so if I'm, I block that leg cut, I take my step, I see him guard his legs, then I go high. You take that moment right there. After you've blocked the leg cut and you're starting your mandrito to see open head or leg, high or low. Okay, so I've pressed my opponent with my points held non-threateningly into a position where they want to attack and he does false up here, here that didn't hit. Turn your, turn your hips, turn your feet even here. Now, in this moment, 
this sword, not real dangerous to me in that moment. And uh, beware here, I'm not going to be pausing. As soon as, as soon as I've done this, I'm going away, over. Now, when that happens, after I've pressed and he's attacked and he's tricked me here, what's he thinking here? Offense or defense? Oh, I'm going to defend. Is he, is he thinking about attacking me? No, that's not going to happen. After I pressed him, he tries to fake me out here. That sword right now, that's neutralized. That point can't hit me. That edge can't hurt me. And the second that I stopped it, I'm already going. His mind is on defense. And I see that hand starting to raise. I'm, I, I, yes, I have my dagger here. But he's thinking right now, how is he going to stop this from hitting him? Probably in the head. That's why I go down here. So keep that in mind that you're creating a tempo. That's why Mur uh, Manchelino has you doing this. So, so often, after we parry a leg cut that way with that false edge, what do we do? A lot of, a lot of leg cuts down here. That's true, but not in this case. That's not Manchelino's advice. Here, here. So, you see my tempo. In the moment of my parry, all I have to do is watch where he's guarding himself. Once I stop it, I watch to see where, oh, where is he guarding? Oh, it's down there. I'll go up here. And my own dagger is guarding my head. After you do this, don't forget, get out quickly. Get out of range as fast as you can. Back into your guard. Okay. If you've been doing this stuff for a while, you may be aware of a technique pattern that we block a reversal or a, excuse me, a mandrito to the leg with the false edge and frequently strike the other person's leg with a uh, true edge cut. Now, um, we see that with buckler and, and rotella. This, however, if I've done that, and this is he's a very well-known technique, with the dagger, he can stop that. He can stop that in a way that he couldn't with a buckler or even a rotella. That is stopped, and now I, I'm uh, in trouble here. So see, you may be thinking, and I was thinking, wondering, well, we do that so often, why not? Why not now? Why don't I just do uh, that? Because now this is problematic.